Hi, it's Richard Wontour from 3% Realty Atlantic. I wanted to give you a quick update on the real estate market in the Dieppe Moncton Riverview area of New Brunswick. So this is for November of 2022. The first thing I wanted to talk about is the sales volume. So this is the number of transactions um, and I've included so the detached mobile and mini homes, semi-detached and townhouses. So this actually goes back to 2019. This is uh, the monthly sales volume that we have over the last four years. You typically see kind of a spring market and then it kind of peaks and then dies off towards the end of the year. So this doesn't look to be much different this year than it has been in years gone past. The volume is just changing a little bit. Um, so we do have a trend. It's actually the end of the year or the back half of the year it normally falls off in terms of the number of transactions. So there's nothing really to uh, sort of write home about in this scenario. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is months of inventory. If you have, for example, 100 houses are sold in a month and then you uh, have 100 homes for sale, that's one month's worth of inventory. So if you look at it, anything that is between uh, five and six months of inventory, is what they refer to as a balanced market. Anything below five is typically deemed a seller's market. Above six is a buyer's market. So they typically can get better deals. So if we look at 2022, uh, you see actually the inventory is starting to build a little bit. So we are going upwards in terms of month of inventory, but we're still well below the five months of inventory that would sort of bring us into that threshold of being a little bit more of a balanced market. So it remains uh, relatively tight um, from that standpoint. The next slide we're gonna take a look at is the average sale price. Again, it's a mix of properties, detached mobile homes, semis and towns. Um, so you're looking at uh, 2019 through 2022. And obviously the gold is at 2022 prices. Um, now, if we go back to 2021, you can kind of see here, uh, prices were going up and then that continued and into 2022, it peaked in April of this year. And then as you've seen in the last slide, we have months of inventory starting to rise and prices are starting to come down. So there's a, obviously a number of reasons that we're seeing this. Uh, if we go back to uh, March of this year, so if we look at peak prices in March, uh, the average variable rate was 1.45%. Now, if we compare that to what is the new rate is 5.45%. So we've had an increase in interest rates of about 4%. So this is right across the board. Um, if you're looking for prime, like for uh, a regular mortgage, uh, bank prime rates are 6.45%. Home equity lines of credit are just shy of 7%. So you can kind of see and you start to understand affordability as well as inflation are a number of different factors that are influencing the market, causing sales to soften and prices come down because people just can't afford uh, what they were able to afford and not just a few months ago. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my contact information is listed. Uh, have a great day. Take care.